I'm so hungry. Please give me food. Don't be silly, son. You know we don't have any crops to harvest recently. Maybe we should wait for the new president. Maybe he will make some policy that will help us. <laughs> um. Mr. President, what is your plan on solving the food crisis and poverty? I understand that in some parts of our country, my people are starving. That is why I am going to instate a new policy to make sure they all get fed. Welcome back to Breaking News. I'm your reporter Ivan, and in today's news, we are going to discuss about the serious pollution that is brought by food production in some countries. All right. Thank you, Ivan. As the worldwide population increases, more countries now require more food sources. Producing more food requires the availability of land areas for industrial farming, which is more difficult for poorer and smaller countries. There is a cycle between air pollution and food production. In the process of food production, there are problems like food miles, chemical fertilization, and the abuse of pesticides. All of these problems can lead to the decline of air pollution during the food production. Furthermore, the air pollution creates soil degradation, food poisoning, water shortage, and water pollution, which slow down the food production speed and makes the poverty more serious than ever. On all, our people hope there will be a solution that can produce food without causing trouble and pollution. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to join us tomorrow for next breaking news. Thank you. The solution of this environmental problem is to change the way to decrease the food shortage and prevent the increasing of greenhouse gas emissions by using a new agricultural prototype. A system that does not occupy any land areas and has a simple farming system which produces food rapidly without causing pollution. This is our prototype. It can be used on water or on land just like amphibians. That is why we decided to call our prototype Amphibiponics. The idea of our prototypes are come from aquaponics and hydroponics. Because it requires water creatures just like aquaponics and the system flows on water just like hydroponics. Alright, I'll go our first test and for the pot this is about like simple and boring, but this is exactly what we're looking for, so that anybody can build amphibiotics anywhere. It can also avoid natural disasters, such as typhoons and floods, because it is movable, so that farmers don't need to worry about the damage to their crops. What is the point of using amphibiotics if it is so similar to aquaponics and hydroponics? It is because amphiboponics is more suitable for smaller and poorer countries. The cons of aquaponics and hydroponics are that they both need water tanks, fish food, the fish themselves, fertilizers, and electricity, which is quite difficult for smaller and poorer countries. Before talking about the function and materials of amphiboponics system, I actually want to talk about the shortcomings of this thing. First of all, there are no points of using a pipi system if there are no wide surface of water with water creatures in it. Second, it might be difficult for some people to collect the materials this thing needs. And last, farmers need to be aware of creatures like ducks or geese if they are trying to eat the vegetables and accidentally break the box. Alright, now we're going to talk about the functions and materials of the amphiboponics system. I have a great idea! What are you doing, Elvin? That's what you are! If you want to discuss the function and materials of the amphiboponics! It's a good idea! Yeah, let's go! Alright, we've arrived at the park. Unfortunately, it's raining, but it's okay, because it will not affect the systems of amphiboponics. Now let's talk about the materials and the functions of our system. 
The materials of the amphibic ponies are simple to collect. It is built with a styrofoam box, some plastic bottles, some sticks, and some string under the box, and that's but not least, some soil. Using the styrofoam in this system is fundamental because of the lightweight of the styrofoam makes this thing float like a duck. Moreover, the styrofoam will not pollute the water and does not absorb the water. So it makes the amphibic ponic more sustainable. Next, let's talk about the function of this material from the amphibic ponics. Because this part is more difficult to shoot in the park, so we decided to record indoors. The string under the box sucks in the water and as well as nutrients into the soil and makes the plants grow. Meanwhile, filtering the water, we decided to attach ropes and wells on the ponics. So it is capable of being moved by farmers when there is a natural disaster. Alright, then we go back to the park. The function of the amphiponic system is about the connection between water creatures and plants. First, fish produce ammonia rich waste. Next, microbes and bacteria break down the waste and turn it into nutrients, which is used to enrich the soil. Lastly, Plants absorb the nutrients and that helps them to grow, and the roots filter and remove ammonia from the water. As you can see, the styrofoam box we are using is small. It is great if farmers can use a bigger styrofoam box and change the variety of vegetables as the weather changes. The amphibic ponic system is a highly sustainable and a fast method of farming. But how is it benefit to our environment? Nowadays, there are still some farming systems still supply their soil and crop with a lot of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and water. This method is not only harmful to our plants and soil, but it is also very expensive. The natural fertilizers from fish waste and soil provide just enough nutrients for plants in amphibic ponic system. What's more, the crops are locally grown in the village to decrease the distance of the miles. Furthermore, the plants and soil filter the water to create a better environment for water creatures and a better water sources. At last, the entire cycle of the amphiponic system is waste-free and resembles a natural growing process. After studying how the amphibic ponic system is benefit to our environment, we are going to talk about the improvement of greenhouse gas emissions that is brought by amphibic ponics. <laughs> Due to the increasing environmental impact of the production, the pollution from agriculture has become more serious than ever. Let's take US for example. About 9% of total greenhouse gas emissions are from agriculture in recent years. Since 1990, greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture have grown by over 8.8%. And meanwhile, that may not seem like a lot, but that is actually a whopping 600 million metric tons of CO2. And it is still gradually increasing today. But I'll just take the method to produce more food, for instance, Utilizing the amphibic point system is an effective way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We hypothesize that in the US, the total greenhouse gas emission will drop from 9% to at least 8%, which reduces around 100 million metric tons of CO2 emissions. Overall, the amphibic ponic system is a revolutionary way of farming. Not only does it decrease the spread of pollution, but it also gives people enough diet because everybody deserves to eat. Due to our last president's policy causing a lot of damage to our precious country, I have decided to call off the policy in order that people build amphiponics so that they can create a new food source for their villages. Hey Dad, is that a farming team working? Of course, son. We got all the crops we got this year. Wow, that's great. Come on, and help me harvest these. Okay. Excuse me. We have a food now. Yay!